What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Fuzzy Motion Plays Catherine. Last time on Catherine, we got out of the quadrangle, thank goodness. We found out that somebody named Steve was Catherine's boyfriend, but it wasn't clear to us which Catherine it was. So we immediately accused Catherine with the C, the blonde Catherine, that she had been dating somebody this whole time and trying to loop us into it. But now, it seems that the tables might have been turned and that Vince might have been the one getting duped all along. Much to find out. I'm excited because I've never explored this part of the game. So, let's take a drink and talk to some of our friends. <laughs> Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Anyway, Catherine isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? Can't go any farther to the left. You're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but... Then, why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating, and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. <sighs> Dude, I'll just sit there getting angry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Drink? <sighs> Can she actually be cheating on me? Can't honestly say there's no possibility. Talks the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. You know, people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm starting to get the sense this kid's a hopeless romantic. No place in the world for those. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. <laughs> and that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. The game's teaching you about binge drinking. Kids, don't try this at home, please. I don't want to get letters from parents saying that you taught my child how to take a Nikolashka. Erica, I need a drink. Which is better than the other drinks that I've tried. Made up your mind? When I was younger, in my 20s. My earlier 20s. Let's go with a, uh, a burr. Beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay, I'll be right back. There are a couple of drinks that we used to like to take, uh... Here it is. One that my friend hey, told Erica? me about. Oh Erica. my god, would you I shut up? I'm telling a story! Who would you rather marry? Well... I thought Vincent would be the guy who'd take the best care of me. Past tense? Orlando and Johnny don't look like they'd love me. Ding, ding, ding. Which means... Uh, you, I guess. You're cute and passionate. What, for reals? Yeah, yeah, congrats. Hey, hey, you guys jealous? No. You're a mechanic. For Legos. I don't even know, that makes no sense. Anyway. Um, one of the drinks that uh, always intrigued me when I was younger was um, uh, the stuntman. And that's when you take a shot of uh, tequila. But normally as a chaser, and a chaser is just something to get the taste out of your mouth, as a chaser for tequila what you would do is you would uh, shove a, or you would lick some salt off your arm and then shove a lemon or a lime in your mouth, or a lime rather, in your mouth to kind of get the taste out because, you know, it does have a very pungent aftertaste. So instead of doing that, the stuntman requires you to snort the salt and then squirt that in your eye. Needless to say, waking up one morning with my eyes swelled shut, looking at my friend going, what the hell happened last night? He just looked at me and said three words. You did, or four rather, you did a stuntman. And that was an interesting night, to say the least. <sighs> I'm covering up my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. Sure you do. Ooh, thinking about it, what a strange rumor here. Nah. 
a strange room. We're gonna have to investigate that. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about fear. Now that you've emptied your mug. You've heard of beer buying, but did you know that beer itself doesn't make you fat? Beer is relatively low in calories and makes you urinate more, so the calories don't build up, making it hard to get fat. Yet since sugar is required to break down alcohol and beer foam makes you hungrier, when these things combine, you get the munchies and voila, beer belly. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty? Ain't it the truth. You still want a drink? Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Wish Game. Whiskey. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Nobody okay. cares. You still have right drinks back. on the table. Finish those. Here it is. Scum lords. Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, I found the one. Um, you don't say. Well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. Calls for a drink. <sighs> Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her. <sighs> Can she actually be cheating on me? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, gasoline is a liquid which is volatile and highly flammable. So it's just like alcohol, isn't it? Gasoline is fuel for automobiles, so would they run on alcohol? Actually, in a race in South Africa, there was a car that ran close to 200 miles on whiskey. It seems like such a waste to run a car on delicious whiskey. And that was the trivia for tonight. Interesting. Empty? So I've been drinking rocket fuel you these, still want all a drink? these years. Hell yeah. yeah! Don't judge me. Sake. Four drinks is not sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay, I'll be right back. Here it is. Drink up, Vince. This is all the free time you get. Sorry, I need to take a whiz. You got mail. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good with the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. All right, so we have an email. I want to check out what that says. Oh, somebody else is in here. Let's leave the email for another time. Looks like we can Ooh, talk to some like of these to folks. To, would you like to speak to Martha? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and sit down and talk to both Do of them. Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? What kind of fucking question is this? Uh, let's go wolf. No! Do you know about ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. So that would make a lot of sense. The of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just... Mr. Todd has died. What? It's three days until the time of freedom. We have another you got mail. email. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see what this says before we move on. Congratulations. Okay. We got out of the quadrangle. That's great. What else does this have to say? From Catherine. Eat the piece of cake you get you. It's going to get stale but busy. At work, it's hard to make time. Might not be able to pick up the phone sometimes. I'll give you a call soon. Ooh. Uh, Suspicious. Sorry, I've been busy too. You surprised me when you came over suddenly. Please don't come over without calling me beforehand. That's real suspicious. Need something to talk to you about. I'll tell you more later. I'm pretty tired, so I'll talk to you later. Let's send that message. No, come on. I don't want to be good. Uh, well, is it working? Sorry, sending it last. 
sending that last one while you were at work. I hope you didn't get in any trouble. Anyway, take care. Image. Shit. Need to check can't, this out somewhere where no one can see. Can't look at this in public. Oh, Mr. gosh. Mr. Morgan and Mr. Todd don't get along well, but it was Mr. Todd who stopped Mr. Morgan from committing suicide. He was arrested for assaulting Mr. Morgan. He was demoted as a result. But what the two of them don't know, the two of them don't know that Mr. Daniel had him cleared of the charges. Oh my. More emails, huh? I'm wondering. <laughs> Is it true that you have a me? You're not lying to me, hiding anything from me? Are you? I'm not lying. I've been really tired lately. Come on, cheer up. We don't have to see each other every day. Nah. I wish I could see you. Bye. Yeah, now I'm gonna call her over. Off the deep burn. That's what I want to see. Okay. So, what we need to do right now is we need to find a way to talk to some more people before they walk out of the place. I really don't want to mess up as far as any of these side <sighs> quests go. Oh, Archie's you don't upset. Look so good. Sit down. Have a talk. My boss, he's dead. No. Oh. He wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I, I, I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. D don't worry about it. D they're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He was such a good guy. My head hurts. You got mail. Alright, let's check out what this mail is. So, people are starting to drop like flies all around us. This is uh, very reminiscent of Nightmare and Elfstream. Did something happen? I hope I'm imagining things. Yeah, I'm meeting a friend tomorrow, so if you want to call me during the afternoon. Aren't you busy with work too? Try to take it easy. Sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, I'm just tired. Does it matter? I have a lot on my mind too. I'm going to drink a little more here. So yeah, let's send her that. <sighs> Suck it, bitch. <laughs> you know, for someone that's so willing to bark out orders and tell us what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do, she's very tight-lipped when it comes to who she's meeting and what she's doing. Don't you think that kind of has to work both ways? Now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious Since I'm going to be the... Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. Father of your children? Wow. It's even younger than I am. <sighs> Todd Bozeman, age 45. Todd? <sighs> Todd? The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all the updates we have on this story currently. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather. As always, if we have anything new to report, now, continuing our coverage, oh, Richard we already Davis, age 30, saw this. I don't know why I clicked today. on it again. Oh, Ready? boy. <sighs> That's all the updates we have on this story currently. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather. As always, if we have anything new to report. All right, let's see what tell just you the rest has of to yesterday's say. story. Oh, sure. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina saw she started to be enemies. harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. What's done is done. Dickhead. Oh, come on. Yeah. I can't bring her back. Have I told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. I was such a fool. You were just doing your job. How can you blame that on yourself? That's why I on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not fun. You got me. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. I know the feeling. <laughs> I just want to be with you, Vincent. That's all. 
but you say these things that make don't make sense. It worries me. Do you think I'm the bad guy here? I didn't say you were a bad guy. Please stop this. Nah. In fact, I'm the bad guy. Ooh, that's a good one. Asshole! Come on, bury that needle. Don't let it get back up. Okay, let's talk to these folks over to the right. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that will embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <laughs> um, is that what you really want? Uh, this isn't about what we want or don't want. <sighs> uh. Excuse me. <laughs> That was weird. You got me. Um, alright, I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can't talk to some more folk that are around before they leave. This guy. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Uh-oh. Too bad I'm not a Did murder you know suspect. Todd? He was a regular here. Yeah, the, the department manager, right? Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth was a playboy, but he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? Uh. If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. Oh, I knew there I was something weird. just came for a little drink before bed. Okay. So that Fair must mean that he... I'm not even getting a buzz. Bye. Bye. He's gone. All right, nothing more to talk about with him. Did he already walk out the door? He must have. Oh, shit, that was quick. Um, Let's go ahead and walk into the bathroom and see what tonight's uh, trials hold. And then we can also check that uh, email from before, that sexy nurse picture that Catherine sent us. What do we got? Huh? Are we seeing things? This happens every night. I'll get you next time. Tonight stage is the clock tower. Quit wasting your time and come on over. What the? Okay, what is this email? Oh, we gotta go into the stall. Hold on a second. Mysterious meter. Have you ever noticed the meter appears when you make choices? It's hard to miss, right? Vincent's values are always being tested. His state of mind can change in the outcomes of the plot. The inner monologue he hears when he's in a pinch will be affected, too. Pay attention to what he's saying. Interesting. Okay. Where is that email? Some good medicine. Image. Holy shit. Um, it's... Who's taking these pictures is what I want to know. Weird angles and shit. Like, can we reply to that? Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Come on, why can't I say something like... 
Mm, no. I ever mentioned my perfect 10? 10 inches of fury? I don't understand. Yeah, back to where he wanted it to be. I want that to be desolate. I want him to have no hope whatsoever. <laughs> All right, let's go back out and see what the rest of this has to offer. Uh... We haven't talked to Boss at all, so let's go ahead and talk to him for a little bit. Uh, uh, it's late. Don't anyway, tell me shit I already know. I've just said... Hey, Vincent, we're going home now. Alright, I'll see you later. And when it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man. But Erica just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando too. But not Johnny. Mm. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. He just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. So you guys say. really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling me this. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. Okay, it looks like we have nothing else to do. We're gonna go ahead and walk out. You're going home? Be really careful, okay? I know. Don't you think that everyone's acting, I don't know, strange lately? Not just you. I'm getting worried. Are you worried about those rumors? I mean, you shouldn't get yourself so worked up about that stuff. I don't believe in any of that. We'll see ya. All right, so we're out of here for the night. Clock tower, here we come. I'm interested to see how this mechanic works. We've seen a lot of different traps, a lot of different block types, a lot of different pitfalls. Kind of curious what else could happen from this point on. Six day, only two more days left. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Always meeting new people for work. Maybe she's a hooker! We can 
almost make out the actual, like, top of the tower. It's so close, but there's definitely a cathedral at the top from what we from can tell. On, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over and will damage nearby blocks. Bomb blocks now. Unbelievable. Oh, look Where at them am all. I this time? There's still more? Oh, wow. Thought that was going to kill us, though. Pull this guy out. Let's get up to the top. Cool. Alright, we got another block to pull out. Could access that money, but I don't think that's really that important. Pull this out. Pull this out. And pull you out to avoid the bomb block. Alright, is there any benefit going up there? Well, we could get an extra block, but I don't necessarily want to risk that. Oh, uh, this way, this way, and one more should do it. So now we're all the way up at the top. Okay. And pull this out. About a quarter of the way up. Um, looks like we're going to have to step on a bomb block at some point here. Uh... Get up, get up, get to your checkpoint. Good job. Alright, um, to get up here. What's up? Oh my god, look at all that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh. That blew up. Oh, now these are all damage blocks. Shit. I didn't realize that was going to happen like that. Oh, we can pull this out at least. That was a mistake. Pull you out. Those are probably going to fall a little bit. Get to the top of this. Hmm. Get those to go. Pull you out. Pull you. Oh, this is weird. All right. No, go this way. Okay. Pull you out completely. I think I can do this, right? Oh, that fucks things up a little bit. Maybe. Let's try it. So I can avoid the bomb block altogether, but that's not going to help. Oh, it did. Look at that. Go this way. What the fuck was that? I saw something sliding towards me, but that was weird. Alright, start from the beginning. Or not from the beginning, from this point. Okay. I'm gonna have to do this whole sequence again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Undo that last part. Pull you out. Do this spider around. Get you out of the way. Pull this guy out. All right, we're all good so far. I moved you, Mohong. Okay, you're out of here. Just leave. Okay, pull you out. Alright, now, how did we get up here? 
I think we did the same thing, right? Pull this out, get it out of the way. Really don't want to trip those unless we need to. Push you over a little bit. Push this guy. And do that. In good shape so far. I might even be able to do this. I just don't want to get stuck on a trap block for no reason. Okay, we can do this and get up here. Alright, trap block working to our advantage. Now, we have nothing but ice over here. I'll pull you out, move to this side. Do the same thing to get that pillow. Okay. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Pull you out. Do this. Looks like we spider across. And now we can make our way up. Alright. I'm gonna pull these two guys out. Make a straight up path to the black blocks. Oh, we're so close. I can feel it. This is going to stick. Alright, what to do? I guess we jump on it, jump off, jump on it, jump off. I would assume I would want to climb up this way. Push this over there. Is that what I wanted to do? Doesn't look like that bad of an idea until this shit starts happening. Undo. Undo what I was doing. Undo. Undo. I could probably just climb up this way, right? Uh. And then just do this. Uh-oh. I think I've made a mistake. I need that there. Huh. Let's try this. Go over there. It'd be cool if you could just fall. You're gonna fall all the way down, aren't you? No, you'll make an edge there. all falling. I can't get up there now. Shit sticks. Now I can. Nope, not quite. Almost. Now this way. Good. Now climb up it. Alright, now we're making some progress. Oh god, you're in the way. Come on, man. Fuck off, would you? Oh, you hunt bag. Obviously can't knock him off. So this is a little bit of an issue. I gotta move. Uh, I was waiting for him too long. Oh, and he moved this out of the way. Oh, God, just fall. No. I'm down there. Shit. Okay. Should be okay. Come on. See, but this is what I'm talking about. You can't fucking expect me to advance when all you do is... Get the hell out of here. Or bitch slap you. Okay, we gotta coax this bastard into leaving. Fuck out of here. Why, why does he sound like that? That's pretty suggestive, if you ask me. 
Why you gotta do that, man? I remember that. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. I wanna. Yeah, I wanna get one of these guys in my grasp. Okay, I'm almost there. Why can't they just fuck off? My God! I remember them. Come on. I remember that. I remember that, man. Like bridge. We're almost there. You just move a little faster. Come on. Sorry. I remember you. Fuck out of here. Act like if I give a shit. I need to live, baby. Oh, would you please? Sorry. I remember that. Nice. Right, I got oh, fucking time. Hmm. Now, I would have to pull this out. Try to get up just a little bit higher. Don't get trapped. Okay. Okay. Tornado out of this. Pull. Pull. Almost there. I can hear it. I'm almost there. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's so close. It's so very, very close. Okay, the ice blocks are kind of there. Oh, it's so close. What do I do now? Why did that fall? Okay, I can go there at least. Spring that trap so that I don't get hurt. Oh, I'm close and I don't know what to do next. Shit balls. No, I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. No, I'm not. Oh, this is bad. Side. Huh. That's not gonna work. Push you out of the way. That's still not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. I can't get over to that side. At least you'll fall. Okay, I can make a new bridge, right? Um, yeah, I can pull you out. Then I'm still kind of stuck in this area is the problem. Do this. Alright, calm down. Playing this one tight. This one's really close to the wire here. Okay, climb over here. Get up here. Oh, we're so fucking close. Okay, I know what to do. Calm down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Get it! Yeah! In your face! In your face, you I'm grabbing it. I almost forgot to grab it for a second, to be quite honest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The dexterity is impressive and entertaining. Well, I'm surprised we made it this far. Let's go ahead and save before I forget anything else. But in the meanwhile, we'll pick up where we left off next time on Catherine. We will go through the rest of this landing and try to get through the clock tower. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.